Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey you guys, so today we're doing another tech rant and today's tech rant is one that I deeply gets me upset and that is Samsung will never be the best TVs until they adopt OLED technology. Now, for those of you who've heard about OLED technology, you probably heard of it because Samsung manufactures pretty much the best smartphone screens out there. The new iPhone gets a part of it. Everyone wants an AMOLED or OLED display. And AMOLED is Samsung's brand of OLED. You can kind of think of it as Kleenex is to tissue. It's the main one we hear about when we think of OLED. We think, oh yes, the AMOLED displays but Samsung has refused to put it on their TVs because of the expense. It is very costly to make an OLED display that big. However, this has caused Samsung smart TVs uh, in general to kind of halt at the high-end price point because LG specifically, and now followed by Sony, TVs are just better. Overall, they are better quality for these price ranges of $2,000 and above. If you are looking in this price range, you honestly should only be looking at OLED TVs. Why is that? Well, because it's a better technology and Samsung can't really deny that because if they deny that, well, then their smartphone empire of displays really comes crashing down. So here's the thing. Let's go over first what different types of LED TVs there are, and then let's go over why OLED is so much more important. So first of all, there's two types of uh, um, lit LEDs, and there's edge lit, which is only lit by the side, and there's full array. This is something you always wanna look at when buying a TV. Edge lit is nowhere near as good as full array. Uh, now that being said, edge lit really does suffer from it. And in a lot of Samsung TVs, uh, say the MU series, uh, half of them are edge lit and the higher end ones will be full array. But even the ones that are full array, you like you really need it to be a full array to have a really good quality. And they're taking the full away array away to promote their QLEDs. See, Samsung TVs in the $1,500 price point were actually better last year when comparing to this year for a lot of features minus the HDR. Overall, the uh, full array was much more available at the $1,000 and under, and even $1,500 and under TVs, that you were really getting a great type of LED backlighting quality. This year, you're not really getting that because they're saving it for their quantum LED. And really, all that is is, yes, that they are brighter. That's the biggest thing about it. Quantum dot technology just allows your TV to be brighter. And yes, it's brighter than OLED. Absolutely, congratulations, Samsung. The problem is, is at that brightness level, it doesn't really matter. OLED gives us enough brightness to really power our TVs to the best quality. Now, you also have a debate on like how these technologies work with OLED, right? So this is the difference between LCD, which we were looking at a second ago, and now OLED and now film OLED. So let me go through that. Basically, with the standard of LCD, you have the backlight coming from the back and it backlights everything we were talking about. So that's full array or edge lighting. That's how we get everything lit. However, organic LED, the whole point of organic LED is that each individual dot is lit far beyond any LED. Yes, even your quantum dot, it's better. Organic LED is the best technology we have until newer technology comes out, which is already in the works, believe it or not. Um, and then we have plastic OLED, which has been how Samsung creates these curves on their smartphones. Now, plastic OLED allows for a much thinner style profile for TVs or for smartphones, but it also really gives that curve and bend and flex feature. Instead of having glass, you're now having plastic. So it is going to be better overall for thinness and for bendability, so you're not worried about it breaking so easily. Now, here's the thing, uh, Samsung has not adopted this because it does cost more, but how can you charge the same price as OLED TVs from LG and Sony? They really should be cheaper so why aren't they? They aren't because of Samsung's brand name. Samsung has a really, really amazing brand name and TVs. They've been considered the best for a long time, 
but they haven't been the best for I would say at least three years. Since OLED started coming out on LG TVs, they have dominated. They have been much better than Samsung. Now you can argue all about like Consumer Reports and all these different companies like, oh, this Vizio is good. This, you know, all these different brand names and you know, the Sony X900 is really good. You know, all these LED TVs, but I would argue that for $1,000 and under, Samsung TVs are typically going to be a better quality, not a better value, not a better, not a better bang for the buck, but I would actually recommend them for the $1,000 and under price point over most other brands. And it's not because they give the truest look, but they give the vibrant look that quite honestly, most consumers want. Most consumers want a more vibrant look. That's why we love our AMOLED screens on our phones. And it's why we would love it on our TVs. A lot of people say like, oh, but you know, this Vizio or this Element or all these other ones give you a realistic look but we don't necessarily want realistic looks. Sorry, we want vibrant. We love vibrant. And yeah, we don't want it to be like, you know, ridiculous, which Samsung does at times, uh, especially if you put on the dynamic mode. There are lots of things you can fine tune your TVs for, but overall we do want more vibrant as a standard. And then we go from there. And Samsung really gives you that for the thousand dollar under price point. But OLED TVs are going to continue to be the best until Samsung adopts this technology, which who knows, maybe at CES in January when we cover it, maybe Samsung will finally launch an OLED TV. I don't believe that's the case. They have new uh, management though coming in. We have two CEOs that just went away in the past uh, six months. So who knows what they will come out with, but I'm hoping we finally get into the OLED technology. It really, really upsets me because me personally, I like to buy a new TV every couple of years. What I do is I find a friend or family member that'll buy my old TV and then I upgrade to a higher end one and that's how I do it, right? Here's the thing with that though. I get a friends and family discount with Samsung so I can get a $1,500 TV for about $1,000. Really good discount and obviously it's awesome. But if I had that opportunity for an LG TV better, I would gladly pay, you know, maybe $500 more or $1,000 more even to get an OLED TV to have a much longer lasting and better TV overall and a better TV experience. If I had this friends and family discount for LG or for Sony, I would honestly gladly take it over the Samsung TVs because I know there are better TVs out there I can't afford by regular price, but if I had some kind of discount, I might even go for that. Now this is all what I wanted to get out today, just about, it drives me crazy why Samsung hasn't adopted the OLED technology. I'm sorry, QLED is just not as good as OLED, and you have to admit that yourself, Samsung, because no matter what, your screens are the best. You don't put quantum LED on your screens on your smartphones. You put AMOLED displays. AMOLED displays are the in leading industry best and they've actually gotten the most realistic colors now above IPS displays. So there really are a whole range that Samsung has made strides in OLED more than anyone else has for actually getting both realistic color and brighter screens and the most vibrant color. So you get the all the best of all the worlds with this kind of technology. So why don't they just put it on their TVs? I wish they would. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Which TV do you really like? And I didn't mean to badmouth any kind of other TV brands or anything like that, or hold up LG or Sony. They're just the ones doing OLED. If there was any other manufacturers doing OLED TVs, hey, I'll gladly review it. I'll gladly check it out. I'll gladly see how great it is. But the biggest thing about Samsung TVs is for me, I, I would get a discount from it, so that's why it, they will be my TV, but I, I, I like get it angrily because if I would gladly have the ability to get an OLED TV from LG or Sony or any other manufacturer, I would gladly take it over my Samsung TV because overall, OLED is just a better quality. All right, guys, I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know which TV you have, which TV would you upgrade to in the future, and again, OLED is expensive, so keep that in mind if you go out like, oh, well, let me look at this LG price. They're going to be over $2,000 for on average, so just know that going into it. All right, guys, thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y.
the YouTube Tech Guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.